it all over here. I'm going to um, start off your TDA for this week. We are reading a story called Blue Sky Home, and this is going to be a benchmark um, TDA, which means that we are going to give you a lot more um, freedom to write it yourself and not as much support from a teacher. So you'll notice when we get to the evidence inference and analysis chart that you're really going to be working independently this week so that um, your teachers can see what you're able to do on your own. I am going to start off by deconstructing the prompt with you. I like to do this before I read the story and the reason is because I want to kind of start to set up my thinking. If I know what the elements are before I even start reading, I can kind of prep my brain to be listening for them and looking for them and it saves me time later. Our prompt says, in the passage Blue Sky Home, the main character takes a trip to Greece to visit her grandfather. Write an essay analyzing how the change in her grandfather's attitude helps develop a theme about acceptance. Use text evidence to support your response. You can see that the first sentence tells me the title of the passage and a really short summary. The second sentence is where all the meat is, what we want to know as writers. We have two elements. It talks about her grandfather's attitude and how that changes. So our first element is character's actions, or you could focus on the character. But we want to make sure we're talking about grandfather. The second element is theme, and they give us a little bit of a heads up that it has something to do with acceptance. A sec Acceptance means that you are tolerant or okay with somebody just the way that they are. So for example, maybe you have a friend who is like a fanatic about basketball. They think basketball is the best. They play basketball. All they want to do is talk about basketball. They watch basketball, but you don't like basketball. You can still be friends, you can still have interests and hang out together, even though you don't really like that part of your friend. You can still accept them for who they are and what they like. In our story, grandfather is going to kind of change how he feels about his granddaughter. And we're going to see by the end, he is able to accept her. You wanna be thinking as I read through, maybe some evidence from the beginning, the middle, and the end that shows grandfather is changing from not to accepting by the end of the story. Grandfather turned to Phoebe and winked. Now you can see the real Greece, he said, pulling up to an ancient stone house. A woman, grandfather's age, bustled towards them. Phoebe unfolded herself from the car and hung back uncertainly as grandfather wrapped his enormous arms around the tiny lady. Valisky, this is my granddaughter, Phoebe, grandfather said. Phoebe, meet my good friend Valesky and he continued talking to Valesky in Greek. He's probably explaining that we're heading for the village where he grew up, Phoebe thought. For about the thousandth time, she wished her father had taught her a little Greek, just enough so that she could make some polite conversation and didn't have to stand there like a lump. When she had first arrived at the airport, her grandfather had been eager to show her the real Greece. You need to see this, he announced. You are Greek. This is your country. Well, Phoebe had said on that first day, I'm only half Greek, really. I'm American. What is it to be American? Grandfather snorted. No, you are Greek. Phoebe didn't want to tell Grandfather that Greece didn't feel like her country. The sky was so blue it hurt her eyes, for one thing. The toilets had buttons instead of handles, and she could hardly even talk to the people. Now Valesky said something in Greek and blinked at Phoebe expectantly. I'm sorry, Phoebe said to her. I don't speak Greek. 
I think that there is a good piece of evidence on this page that talks about how grandfather feels about Phoebe at the beginning of the story. He says something about how he views her and how maybe she views herself. At the bottom of this page, we have a number one and a number two, and that matches the little number one and number two that we have in our writing. Let's see where they're at. Let's see our number two. Here it is. Here's our number one. So if you um, want more explanation of what those words mean, we have a little glossary down here. It's called a footnote that give us some definitions if you need those for your comprehension. I'm moving on to slide three. Valeski turned to grandfather wide eyed with horror. She doesn't speak Greek. Grandfather shrugged and made a clicking sound with his teeth. It's okay, Valeski said sympathetically. I try to speak English with you. Grandfather gestured to the crumbling stone buildings that surrounded them. Maybe we go for a walk later, he told Phoebe. You see, the town is very old. Valeski said something in Greek, and Grandfather hooted with laughter. Phoebe smiled hesitantly. What? she asked. Hee hee! Grandfather shook his head. She say, Valeski finished for him. If you go in, take a string so you'll find your way out. You know, they made these towns like a labyrinth, Grandfather explained, because of the foreign pirates. They could get into town, Valeski said, but they couldn't get out. And her eyes gleamed playfully. No, said Grandfather. Yes, his eyes, I'm sorry, nah, said Grandfather. Yes, his eyes grew thoughtful. Phoebe wondered if he was thinking about the pirates. Ever since Phoebe had arrived in Greece, she had begun to realize that her grandfather didn't really trust anybody who wasn't Greek. She had never seen this side of him before, and it made her a little uneasy. How is your father? Valeski asked. I don't see him s since he was a baby. You have a photo? Phoebe hesitated, then dug into her bag and pulled out a picture taken on her twelfth birthday. That's my dad on the left, she said. Beautiful, beautiful, Valeski said, squinting at the photo. Grandfather leaned in to look at the picture. Who is this? he asked suspiciously. Phoebe didn't even have to look at the photo to know which person he was pointing to. That's my best friend, Phoebe replied. Nadia. Valeski held the photo closer to her eyes. What is she? she asked. Hmm. I think there's a good spot on this page as well, some evidence of how, how grandfather judges people or what grandfather might think of Phoebe in this part of the story. I also think this last line is pretty interesting. When Valeski says, what is she? That's not normally how we talk about a person. I'm wondering if her best friend maybe looks differently or maybe has different colored skin or different colored hair. There's a reason why Valeski is unsure about the person in the photograph. Let's continue reading to find out why she's judging that person. For a moment, Phoebe wasn't sure how to respond. She knew what Valeski meant. What is Nadia's heritage? And that answer was that Nadia's parents were from Karachi, Pakistan. Phoebe could have just answered the question, but Nadia wasn't from Pakistan. She was from Teaneck, New Jersey. She's American, Phoebe said at last, like me. Grandfather looked at her sharply, and Phoebe half expected him to tell her again that she was Greek and not American. Grandfather tugged at his beard and then looked at the photo one more time. Pretty girl, he said finally, and he looked back at Phoebe. And something in his eyes softened. Phoebe exhaled. She hadn't even realized that she was holding her breath. The air here was sweet like honey. My grandfather loves me, Phoebe realized. He loves me and he wants, me to, sh wants to share being Greek with me. 
And for the first time, the strange country, with its sky so blue to hurt, it hurt to look at, started to feel a little bit more like home. There is a couple wonderful pieces of evidence at the end of this story about how grandfather has changed from not accepting her as American to now accepting her as an American. You may want to highlight on your copy some pieces of evidence that you like, and that will help you with your evidence chart tomorrow. See you then.